Hello folks and welcome to Max Thrust RC and Project Invictus Part 3. In this episode we're going to be having a look at the motor I'm going to be using for Invictus's first flight and the sort of performance we can expect to get from it. I'd like to thank Rockets and Things for providing the motor for this flight. The web address is at the bottom of your screen now. I've also put a link to the websites in the description below, so do please check them out. Right, without any further ado, let's go and have a look at some hardware. Okay folks, so here you can see my Pro 54 5 grain casing. Yes, there it is. It's pretty large as you can see on the screen here. Uh, you've got the threaded ends at the bottom. Uh, so yes, it's uh, going to do the job and hold the motor in place. Right, now let's uh, have a look at the motor itself. Okay folks, so here you can see the main event. This is the motor that's going to be powering Invictus Skywards. It's a Pro 54 5 grain and yes, it's my first K motor. A K570 with the classic propellant. 2060 total newton seconds of thrust and a 17 second adjustable delay but as before I'm going to be taking the black powder out of this and putting it into my electronic recovery system. So from one end of the other you can see it's fairly large, it's pretty hefty as well. It's about 990 grams worth of propellant. So it's going to get Invictus moving pretty quickly and going pretty high. But to see specifically how quickly and how high, let's go into Roxim and take a look. Okay folks, here you can see we're in Roxim. Let's open up the rocket. So it should be down here in this kind of region. Sudden rush, there it is, and it's open. Now let's prep it for launch. As you can see in flight events, I've got the main coming up at 800 feet and the drogue at Apogee. Engine selection, display engine list in CTI K570, OK. Ejection delay, none, because the altimeter is going to throw out the parachutes. Launch, right, what have we got? OK, so it says... Max altitude 7,974 feet. Well, that's pretty much 8,000. Max velocity 768 miles an hour. So that is just through Mach 1, which is exactly what we wanted. About 21G, uh, 19 seconds or so up to Apogee. And uh, yeah, obviously the velocity at deployment and altitude at deployment are pretty decent because of the onboard electronics. Right, well that is going to be very exciting and it's going to look absolutely fantastic through the camera. We're going to get some great footage and if you don't want to miss the flight then please do hit that subscribe button. That's it from Max Thrust RC and I'll see you next time.